Well, a, a tough loss, uh, certainly a heartbreaking loss last week. Uh, you know, proud of our team's effort and our fight, and we always fight 60. Uh, certainly want the W, but uh, our guys have, have uh, again, time and time again, you know, down with a lot of adversity striking against them. They've, they've battled back and uh, given themselves a chance at the end to win. So as a coach, I'm always proud of that. I mean, I always will be. Put me in my casket, I'll be proud of that. It's, uh, you know, that's one thing I love about this football team is a bunch of fighters and they'll fight, you know, and uh, certainly we've been through some adversities. We've been through some adversities this season. But uh, the thing as a coach, the fight, the courage to keep standing up, that's something I've been proud of. So. Wish we had gotten a W. Nobody hurt worse than I do. It's uh, one of those deals that I won't just it won't sit on me for a day or a week. It'll sit on me for the rest of my life. But that's football. You got to get up off the mat and get ready for a big game this week. So, speaking of big game, short turnaround and the holiday and all that stuff. How do you guys plan to? So no, it's just a small adversity compared to some of the adversity, but we got to adjust and adapt and get ready for the game. You know, that's, that's it. You know, we practiced, uh, got them back uh, about midnight Sunday and, and uh, had practice last night. Uh, and uh, we'll go out tonight again and, uh, and we'll practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, you know, Thursday will be our Friday, Friday and Friday will be Saturday. So uh, just a short week, Jason, but uh, our guys are practicing hard. And, had a good practice last night. We'll come out and practice hard. I know that about this team. What are things uh, looking like with the quarterback situation? You know, it's uh, you know, you know, Nick's practicing. You know, again, it's another one that he practiced uh, last night. So we'll see how that plays itself out as we get toward the end of the week again. Uh, it's another just small adversity. You know, we got that. Of course, we struggled Saturday a little bit with our kicking game, too. You know, Parker's been out. So, you know, kicking field goals are certainly something we got to look at, too. But, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I think Nick's there. So, hopefully, we'll get him healthy, ready to go. As a coach, how do I guess you curve or frame that adversity that comes along with injuries or inexperience, things like that? You just got to get up. You know, you can't, you know, again, that's the best part of football. You just got to get up and go play, you know, and fight. And I, I, I guys do that. So, again, I'm proud of that, you know. Uh, but uh, it's just part of this game. At times you have those and, you know, next guy up. But it's, uh, it is something that some years it hits you a little bit harder than other years. But, uh, you know, you got to hit the road. You got to go out and recruit and build depth and do all those things. That's part of it. That's part of the journey, too, you know, because the injuries are coming. And, uh, you know, so just part of football. Coach, um, from what you've seen since the end of that game, it, it kind of looked like that, that maybe the team took this particular loss against North Texas a little harder than some of the others. Could you talk fair. a little bit yeah, about that? That's a fair statement, Randy. Uh, well, <clears throat> you know, kind of, you know, I, I think the, the big thing with that loss at North Texas was it was, uh, you know, you kind of, Putting yourself in a pretty much a guaranteed position for bowl eligibility there with that W. You know now you kind of you, you know you're, you're playing for that sixth win, but you're, you're also trying to figure out what the factors are that determine everything. You know, but I think it was a tough loss. We put every we put a lot of energy into that game, and I just felt like you know one of those as a coach, you felt like you know you, we're ready to play, and, and uh, it was just tough. You know after the battling back, you know it's kind of like the Troy game. You know, we were down down early and. You know, we battled back, gave ourselves a chance with nine seconds to go down here. We lost that. We battled back, you know, there and gave us a chance. Even a couple of weeks ago, we dug ourselves a huge hole after the block punt at Charlotte and dug ourselves back about four minutes to go with the chance to touch it to one score. And, it, and it's, uh, you know, that, and again, that's something I can't tell y'all. I mean, I, just that's something I, I do love about our football team is these guys. They fight, they scratch, they claw. You know, we certainly sometimes make some mistakes or, or have a turnover or do some things. But at the end of the day, you know, we're uh, we're fighting. I'm proud of that, Lanny. And uh, we just gotta, you know, we gotta go out here and put our last effort of the season and make it our best effort. And uh, knowing that there's still a lot to play for, you know, and I think that's the reality of it. Coach, kind of following up on that, um, 
after you got the team back, you've had a chance to be around them for a day or so. What, you know, what's their mindset? You know, I think they're, uh, again, they came out and practiced hard yesterday. I think they're, they're fighters. This team, this team is a bunch of fighters. They're hurt. I think it's coaches, players, equipment managers, trainers. I think we all hurt. You know, I mean, it's that's the thing that, uh, that uh, you know, you can't, those type losses are tough. They really are. Those are tough losses, but but it's a, it's one of those things that uh, you got to get back up, you know. And, and that's life, and that's football. And I know this team will, you know. I know they'll get back up and ready to go. And I admire that. You know, this this is one of those teams that I just admire that aspect of our football team is that they just get out there and keep digging, need that, you know, and they'll give it a hundred percent. Coach, uh, second game that Keon faced. Well, you know, it's a uh, you know, Keon's a football player, and he's going to be fine. Sometimes that happens. You know, sometimes young quarterbacks go through a little bit of a, a learning stage, you know. And I can remember, uh, you know, way back at Marshall, I think, uh, before Chad Pennington saw him, he'd do six in a game. And then I can remember Byron Leftwich throwing about five or six in a game. They wound up being first round quarterbacks, you know what I'm saying? I said, that's that's the reality of it is it's gonna happen, you know, sometimes as a freshman, uh, but you live and you learn. That's life, you know. And uh, he's a football player. That's the one thing about Keon, you know, I mean he's a football player. He's a guy that uh, you know, was a competitor, shooting. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of the effort, I'm proud of the fight, you know, he keeps he keeps coming back and and uh, again, he's a ball player. So uh, it's just part of football, you know. And so, you know, certainly it's something we just got to keep digging and keep fighting, you know. Coach, um, when you started looking ahead to this Louisiana Tech uh, game, mm -hmm. last three weeks teams had that adversity early and found themselves in an early hole. Do you do anything differently this week in preparation or planning to, you know, maybe guard against that a little better? I think yes, Lanny. I think there's a couple things we'll do a little bit different in our practice, you know, just to try to see, you know, if that helps on some of those adversity striking early. But so we've been working on a lot of these things all year and changing up patterns and, and uh, took a big emphasis for the last, you know, four or five weeks in, in uh, creating turnovers and doing some things like that. And it showed up last, I thought this past week we finally started picking up on a few. So hopefully we'll continue that. Uh, but uh, you, you, you'll change up some things for sure, you know, and it's, you know, you're always searching for that. Some years are a little bit worse than other years, but uh, as far as that's concerned, you know, certainly we've had a tough year. Well, the other day, uh, was Nick not cleared medically or was it just he hadn't practiced? He wasn't cleared medically. Uh, pretty much we've had, you know, it was about that first drive, Al, I think it was, the, it was that second half against Charlotte, you know, I think we got dinged. And then, uh, you know, he wasn't cleared for ODU, he wasn't cleared for North Texas. So it's, uh, you know, and it's, you know, it's just part, part of the, you know, you know, you got to battle for it. Coach, you said previously that you don't, Look at the season in its totality until so you count all your chips at the end. When you count all those chips, uh, are you kind of you kind of see this coming, or are you kind of disappointed? You know, what kind of things do you have? Well, as a coach, yeah, I mean, you always want to win a championship every year. I don't think there's any year that you're ever really you know, is ultimately pleased if you if you don't. But uh, you know, you also as a coach have to uh, look at more of the times than just the scoreboard. And it's, it's that's a coach's job. It's not, you know. I, also, hey, we want to win, and we know we got to win. But the reality is, when you look at young men that battle through through life adversities, and, and they and they show that type of resolve for 60 minutes, you know, you also take deep appreciation, and, and you, you appreciate those things in coaching. You do, and uh, again. Uh, that's the reality of who, at least that's who I am. You know, that maybe not everybody's the same, but I, I, I love that about this football team. I 
end of the day. I, I love it. And, um, you know, it's a, uh, you know, like I said, nobody sits back with losses and hurts more than these players and these coaches and myself. I mean, like I said, some of these losses, 10 years now, somebody was forgotten about, you know, I was still sitting on the porch and remember that sick feeling in the gut, you know, and you'll still remember staring at the ceiling on Saturday night, you know, but that, that that's, uh, that's coach. And uh, certainly we got to go out and, and uh, get ready this week and try to finish this season off strong. That's our challenge. And, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to getting back to work. I mean, we got back last night, but today and through Thanksgiving and working hard and, and getting out and ready to play on Friday afternoon. You know, that's all we can do. Can't do anything else. In a way, do you appreciate the emotion that those guys showed at, at UNC after, after the game was over? Like, do you find a way to – it's appreciate the fight. And yeah, shoot, shoot, it, it hurts. The, those losses hurt. You know, those, those losses are tough. I mean, it is tough. It's tough to swallow. It is, and, and it's not something that goes away easy. You know, uh, and uh, you know, there's a lot of work put into it in, in the season. You know, in coaching, there's a lot of work that you have to do here and now on and a lot more work to do in the future, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you put a lot of blood and sweat into it, you know, so tough losses like that are, they're, they're hard. It's hard to take. Coach, with this Friday um, possibly being the last game or with the win being bowl eligible, what would you want the, la the last page of your team story to be written? How would you want it to be written? Well, <laughs> certainly we want to finish strong with, the, you know, with a W. I mean, that, that's, that's, uh, that's what we want. We know we're going to have to go play our A game. We know we're going to have to put together 60 minutes of, of good executing football in order to do that. And but that's what you want. I mean, that's what we're that's what we're practicing hard to do. So uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to go out there and work as hard as we can to try to achieve that goal. Jackson's been on the roll. What do you see in him? Just a very talented football team. Uh, I think uh, have a lot of playmakers. Uh, at the receiver, running back, and quarterback position, a very talented football team. I think uh, extremely, uh, you know, they are that team that, that, you know, you look and you don't see a lot of weaknesses. You know, they, I think defensively they fly around, and, and uh, you know, they're a team that's eight and three, lost to Arkansas by point, could have won that game. You know, uh, had a tough loss. In, a, in uh, I think in the fourth quarter, the last few minutes against Middle. And, you know, so there are just a few plays here and there being undefeated. So, really good football team. From your uh, vantage point, how has Nick handled the last couple of weeks? It's been tough on him. You know, I think JC's a competitor, and you know it's it's tough because I'm sure he felt, feels like he could have been, you know, in his mind he could have made a difference. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's probably pretty tough for him to sit back in November and, and you know watch his teammates, his fellow seniors. I think that's uh, I think that's probably been a, a tough thing for him. He, you know, he, he wanted to play bad last week, you know, but uh, again, he wasn't medically ready to and nothing's more important than that. We're going to make sure that he's healthy and not in harm's way, but uh, I think it's been real tough on him, you know. Coach, you're speaking a little bit about the whole lot play Saturday evening. Um, what do you know, I thought, you know, we had some good and bad, you know. I mean, I thought uh, at times, uh, uh, you know, we had some good blocks. I thought, I thought uh, you know, we sprung him a couple times, a couple of times we gave up a few pressures. But I, I thought it was one of those games that we were, you know, I mean, there's some good, there's some bad, you know, it's kind of a, uh, uh, but that's, that's football. Coach, one last question. You just talk about the 2016 senior class. It's just an outstanding group of young guys. It really is. Uh, just uh, again, I'm proud of that bunch. It's, it's a bunch of young men that have fought hard for Southern Miss. Many of them have fought through so many adversities. And we talked about, you know, uh, the battles that they fought through, and, and they've had a lot of highs and lows. But you know, they certainly are uh, a group that has, has fought. And a uh, group that I'm proud to be their coach. Uh, they're a joy to be around. They come out every every work day during the week, and they work hard. And uh, just an outstanding group of young men. A bunch of guys that uh, 
certainly uh, wore the black and gold and represented uh, Southern Miss admirably and did a great job. And uh, just appreciate guys coming out and supporting them for their last game at the Rock. And, and, and again, those guys are, uh, you know, special, special guys. You know, one of them, Will Freeman, uh, lost his grandma at the North Texas game. And certainly we send our prayers out to Will and his family. But, uh, you know, he's the guy that, uh, you know, He's on his way back to practice right now. He just loves his teammates, and he's trying to get back here to practice with them. But they've been through a lot of family tragedy, and and uh, you know, just like football, Will's battled through that like a soldier, you know. And he's a, but I think that kind of has been a mentality of those guys. So we just appreciate all they've done. Kind of like we talked about Nick, you know, he's a competitor to the core, and uh, you know, he's a guy that you know just he was killed him to sit out for a few weeks, but. Uh, He's out practicing, trying to get ready for this week. Coach, on that, uh, Miss Gardner, somebody told me it was, you know, she had been to the game. Was was Will out there with her? You know what? I was doing the press deal, and I'm, I, you know, but uh, for what I understand, he was right there by the bus. I think he was. And I think he was there, and just run out there. But he stayed at the hospital in, in, in Dallas the night after the game, and. and Went back to Florence, and uh, he's on his way back today with mom. But uh, again, it's a tragedy, and uh, and uh, just uh, you know puts a lot of things in perspective when you look at it. You know, coming out, but it's uh, we're certainly praying for him and his family. You know, and and uh, I think he knows he's got a lot of brothers in here that love him a lot, and they're all you know all 100 here for him. So uh, you know, just sending prayers out. Thank you.